Hi, this is Matt McLean, and welcome to Music Appreciation, Music 10. I'm going to give you an overview of the class. It's going to be administered through our Canvas system, and then there is also a required e-text that you'll have to get for the class to do the readings, as well as take the quizzes, the midterm, and the final. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to the Merit website, and if you scroll down, you'll see a link to Canvas, and click on that, and it'll take you to your login. You'll click on Students and that will take you to this login page and you're going to use your username and password that you used to register for the class unless you changed it if you've forgotten you'll have to check with admissions and records so the first thing that we're going to do is go to the merit website and if you scroll down you'll see a link to canvas and click on that and it'll take you to your login you'll click on students and that will take you to this login page and you're going to use your username and password that you used to register for the class unless you changed it if you've forgotten you'll have to check with admissions and records it should lead you to the um, dashboard and on the dashboard all of your courses will be here um, this is music 10 so we click on this and you'll see there's a welcome up at the top including a link to this video that you're watching uh, there's a link to the syllabus as well including key deadlines. So you're going to have to get into Canvas as well as take several quizzes. Uh, so there is an assignment, it's a discussion forum, and if you're not in there, if you don't get into Canvas and you don't get in and take the quizzes, you may be dropped as a no-show because this is a condensed class. It's actually only in eight weeks as opposed to the 17 in a full semester. So it's a little bit less than a half of a semester and it's a full three unit class. So it moves pretty quickly. Okay, so you can see on the main page after the welcome, I will leave the class schedule up for the remainder of the session. So you can see each class, and these are basically weeks. So each week, every Thursday night at 11 p.m. for eight weeks, there are links to all the readings, all the assignments, the quizzes, as well as the final exam and midterm that you can find in the textbook. And over on the left-hand side, I have it pretty stripped down. There are links to the assignments and discussions, as well as the gradebook over here. Um, and that's it. You can message me through the messaging system in Canvas. This is my preferred method of contact. You can also email me at mmclean at peralta.edu. And I'm in here a couple times a day, so I'll definitely get back to you within 24 hours if you have any questions. So let's go in and check out the textbook. So for the textbook, um, you're going to go to connectforeducation.com. So I'm going to pull up a new window here and we're going to go to Connect for Education. And there are actually two ways to get the textbook. So one way is to go directly through the publisher here. And I highly recommend this because you can save a substantial amount of money. It's easy. It's like buying something on Amazon. You can use a credit card as well as PayPal. And then the second way that you can get into the textbook is to buy the access code directly from the Merritt College bookstore. If you do it that way, it is definitely more expensive. I know that some students with EOPS cards need to go through that that um, pathway, but I, I, if you can, do, do it this way. So up at the top, you're going to go to the student link, and then this is a three-step process. So the first step is you purchase an access code. You register the access code is the second step, and then you log into the textbook. It's pretty easy. So let's go to purchase first, and then the textbook that we're going to be using, they have a lot of music textbooks in here, uh, is Music Appreciation, on Music Appreciation 4th Edition. If you scroll down, you'll see there's some other ones here that are Blackboard versions. Do not get the Blackboard version. You want to get this first one here, the 4th fourth, fourth Edition not for Blackboard. And then uh, from here, you're going to go to the um, checkout. You can just look at a, a quick overview here. So you go to Student Purchase, and then View to Your Cart. And then once you're in the cart, you go to Checkout. And this is where you put in your name and your address. The key step is uh, down here, your email address, because once you buy it, they're going to email you the access code. And this usually happens within a couple minutes. So you can check back into your email and then get your access code. So now we're ready for step two. So we go back to student here and you're going to register that access code. 
So if you bought it at the bookstore, you're going to actually have to manually type it in. It's the bookstore version is just like a little card and you pull off a strip and it has the 14 digit access code underneath that strip. So this is actually a critical step because once you register, this is the point of no return. Um, you won't be able to get a refund. So make sure that you're going to stick it out for the remainder of the session here. And then what you're going to do is select the school, select the instructor, and semester here and you'll see that there are a couple of courses make sure that you select music 10 and the the, sec the section number matches the uh, the section number for the class that you signed up for and then this is where you are going to copy and paste your access code in here and then put use your uh, desired login name and password i recommend using the one you used for canvas uh, makes it a little bit easier but you can use whatever you want and then after you confirm your information you hit submit and you'll be ready to log into the textbook. So step three is login. And if you go to the login link, it'll ask you for a series of prompts that look like that other registration step. Um, so you can go here and then select uh, my name, but there's actually a much easier way to do this. And I have provided a link within the, um, within the syllabus. And if you go to c4elink.org uh, right here, it will redirect you to this page and then you can just type in your username and password. So once you do that, it'll take you to a dashboard here. You should only have one class. I have several here, but you go into music 10 and you'll see that the textbook is laid out. Uh, it's pretty similar to canvas actually. So you'll have on the main page, the, um, class schedule. So you can see each class is basically a week along with all the due dates. There are links to the midterm and the final exam as well. If you go to open all, this is the view that I recommend. You can see that each page in the textbook is here as well as the ones with the red check marks are quizzes or uh, midterms and finals. There's one midterm and one final. Um, there are links to the forums and written assignments here, but if you actually follow these, it'll just redirect you back to canvas. So all the readings and quizzes are within the textbook here. Um, and that's including the midterm and the final. And then the discussion forums and written assignments are going to be done through canvas. Okay. Let me give you a brief overview of the way the class is laid out. So it, we start here talking about basic music, um, concepts like, you know, does do the role of the listener and basic, um, structure elements there. The next week we get into a little more specific, um, musical terms like pitch and notation. It's, it's a, a, a pretty brief overview. It's not a, a this isn't a music theory class. We're just going to take a little whistle stop tour and we get into some orchestration and instruments. And then if you scroll down the second half of the semester is going to be a basic overview of the last 2000 years of musical history, going back to the medieval period, um, all the way through, um, classical music, the Baroque romantic into contemporary period here. So we have uh, four weeks to get in and, and do that. So I think it's a cool layout because it, we go over some, all the, the terms and concepts of you know, how music is put together first, and then you get to apply those as you go back and, and survey history. Okay, so the textbook itself, each of these pages are, is laid out like this. There are some key things up at the top. Um, for each section, there is an outline and set of objectives. This is a good way to keep things uh, organized, like what you have to do for each section. There are some sample test questions. I highly recommend looking at these. There are five for each section, and your quiz questions are going to look a lot like this. Almost all of them are going to be either true or false or multiple choice. There's a glossary up here, the keywords. So this is for the entire textbook. You don't have to know all these for the first section. Don't be scared. Um, it, they just keep that up there. If you need to go searching for something, um, there are additional musical examples here that I highly recommend. In fact, they're required. There are, um, listening guides for each chapter. This is some additional key material, and there are also links to videos. So you need to check these out. Um, and then you can actually listen to the lecture. You can download it and listen to it on your phone. If you're cooking dinner, that's pretty cool. Um, and then there is another, um, set here. You can actually listen and do some additional, um, this is like a glossary for each, um, for the, actually for the whole textbook in here. So you can, uh, read, 
bios and listen to music uh, from different composers in this section here. Uh, but the most important part is the actual text itself. So down below you'll see that there are uh, boldface words here. These, if you click on them, it'll take you to the glossary and give you a definition. These are critical. You'll find them on the quizzes and the midterm and the final. Um, the other thing, you'll find these little play buttons here. So if you hit a play button, You should hear some music. If you don't hear any music, you might want to try switching browsers. I recommend Firefox or Chrome. Sometimes Internet Explorer can be problematic. And then the player is down here in the lower left-hand corner. Sometimes you need to click on this to, to get it going. Um, and the first time you get in, it can take a little while to load, but um, this was, yeah, I just logged in here and it was pretty instantaneous. If you have any problems with it, you can contact uh, customers, some more, uh, pardon me, customer support at uh, Connect for Education. There's a phone number in the syllabus and they're on East Coast time. Uh, they get up early and you can call them through 3 p.m. our time and um, they'll walk you through any anything you need to know. You can also contact me too. And so that's a, a basic overview of the content itself. If we go on to the next page here, there's these little page buttons. It'll take you to a quiz at the end of that page. So there's basically in the first week a quiz at the end of each page. And the way I have it set up is uh, you have two attempts and I will keep the high score. So you can log into the quiz here. It's not scary and you can see most of them are true false or multiple choice questions. These quiz questions will also appear on the midterm and the final exam as well. Basically those pull from the quiz pools of question banks. Okay, the grade book is not going to be administered here um, in the Connect for Education textbook, uh, it's going to be back in Canvas. So let's go back over to Canvas here. And I want to re reiterate a couple of things. You need to get into the textbook and complete the first assignment, which is a discussion forum, by 11 p.m. the first Friday of class here. This way I have it in red. And um, you can link to all of the, the into the textbook here in the first week. There is also a lecture. You can click on this icon to preview it within the browser here. And I basically give you an overview of the stuff that you have to do for the week. And I'll give you tips on the textbook. If there's some tricky quiz questions, you'll find uh, hints and tricks in here as well. So I'm going to minimize that. Actually, let's get out of full screen. The minimize is right here. And then um, let's see. So that's required reading. There's some PowerPoint files here. So these are taken from the in-person version of the class, even though this is all online. But it's basically, you can uh, preview these within the browser as well. And it'll give you, it's a good way to study at some keyword terms and overviews of each section. So we'll minimize this and go back to the home page. Um, the, at the bottom, you'll also find um, links to all the the quizzes that you need to submit, as well as the discussion forum this week in Canvas. So if you click on this, it'll take you to the forum itself. And it's basically just an introduction. You're going to um, tell us all about yourself uh, in, a, in a short paragraph and then link to a cool piece of music that you're listening to. So here's my link here. Go ahead and check that out and then post yours. You're basically just going to post a YouTube link. So copy and paste um, the URL from uh, YouTube and then put a, a return after it. And when you put a return on, it'll turn it into an active link with a, a thumbnail and a preview here. So that's it for the first week. Just make sure that you uh, respond to uh, at least one other student for full credit in the forums. And you also have to do the first uh, set of quizzes. So there are actually six in the first week. Um, they're short. And again, you can take them twice and I will keep the high score. Okay. And then here, if you scroll down, you can see everything you need to do. There are fewer quizzes uh, towards the end of the class. These are actually weighted a little more hev heavily. You can check out the grade breakdown in the syllabus. So again, there's a link to the syllabus within uh, Canvas there. And it gives you a, an overview of the class. There are detailed instructions, the three steps that you need to get into the required textbook. And then uh, student learning outcomes and the grade breakdown and also a, a version of the class schedule here with all of the, the deadlines. So make sure you get in this first week. It's critical so you don't get dropped as a no-show. Enjoy the textbook. It is really the industry standard for 
uh, music textbooks, a lot of schools, I think there are a hundred different colleges that actually use this textbook. Um, and it has all sorts of cool interactive functions. Make sure you do the listenings within it and message me within Canvas here if you have any questions. Again, I'm in the system twice a day, or you can email me at emmaclean at peralta.edu. All right, look forward to having a great semester and see you soon.